Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the Northampton High School Counseling Department. My name is Karen Hidalgo and I'm the department chair. We do have four school counselors, also known as guidance counselors um, in our department, as well as four adjustment counselors, three special education adjustment counselors and one regular education adjustment counselor. And we have a secretary, um, administrative assistant, registrar who works with us. We have an IT and healthcare pathways and internship coordinator. Um, who's associated with our department, and we often work closely with the 504 coordinator as well. This video will focus mostly on the school counselors, um, the, also known as guidance counselors. The Northampton High School Counseling Department works with the state and national models, including the Massachusetts School Counselors Association and the American School Counselors Association. Each of those models um, provide a way for us to work with all students and deliver comprehensive programming um, to all of our 900 students. You will hear both the term guidance counselor and the term school counselor. Guidance counselor is um, kind of an old fashioned term at this point and school counselor is the um, modern, up-to-date, professional term um, that we like to use, but we will still use both terms sometimes, partly because people are familiar with the term guidance counselor, they're used to it and they know what it means, but in the professional realm, you'll hear the term school counselor, and we are working on um, updating our materials to reflect that term as well. So each fall, the school counseling department works very closely with our 12th grade students to help support them in developing their plans for the next year. For a lot of our students, that's four-year college. For some students, that's two-year college. And some students are also working on entering the military or the workforce. And we will tend to work on a more individual basis with those students. For our students applying to four-year colleges, um, they need to have a recommendation letter from their counselor and they need to complete applications through common application and list their colleges in Naviance to assist us to um, submit their applications. So this year, 1,404 applications were submitted by Northampton High School seniors, 23-24. Um, 65.1% of those students applied by November 15th. 76% of Northampton High School seniors have applied to college to date this year. So counselors write recommendation letters for all of the students who require or request a recommendation letter. So this year, counselors have written 149 recommendation letters for our 209 12th grade students. What we do to write recommendation letters is collect information um, via survey, from students and caregivers. We meet with students individually as we're helping them plan for the next year. And we write the letter based on all that information, plus what we know about the student over the four years and based on their academic records. And we try to give the colleges a picture of who the student is as a person within the academic community and within the social and extracurricular community in the school and the town. So, as we work on implementing a comprehensive school counseling program, we have a lot of ways that we work with students face to face. And so we start by setting up meetings with each student um, in a group three times a year for each grade level. Sometimes it's more than three, it's a minimum of three times a year. We typically meet with students in flex block um, that allows us to meet with students without taking them out of class, which is something that the counselors really like about FlexBlock. We do meet with 11th and 12th graders more than three times a year because they're getting closer to getting ready for um, their plans for after high school, and so they'll have additional meetings. We also provide students with information that they need about progressing through the um, courses and opportunities at Northampton High School. So we provide information sessions about taking classes at Smith, about dual enrollment, um, and about college applications and that kind of thing. 
We work a lot on transitions for students. So I've talked a lot about 12th grade transition, but we also work with eighth graders who will be coming up to the high school next year. We visit JFK twice um, during the winter and or spring to talk about the differences between middle and high school and to talk about course selection and then to meet individually with eighth grade students um, to answer any questions that they have about course selection. And then we have a corresponding um, opportunity for students who are not coming from JFK. So for students who are coming from um, a different school or from homeschooling, we have visit days where they can come to the high school and have the same kind of group presentation from a counselor and they also get a tour of NHS at that time. All of the students um, eighth graders, whether they're coming from JFK or not, have a chance to visit the high school in June um, to learn about sports and clubs and get a, um, a tour of the high school at that time as well. Uh, school counselors um, typically run uh, several field trips a year, and those are funded by the Northampton PTO and the Northampton Education Foundation. And so we'll often visit a college campus and get a tour and have lunch on campus and have students have a chance to see what it feels like to be on a college campus and um, to get a sense of what kind of information they'll get from any future tours or visits that they're able to, um, to complete. We provide English language learners with support through the school counseling department by having one of our counselors have all of the ELL students assigned and that counselor works on specialized programming and support for, um, for that population of students. We like to think about um, what we want our students to walk away from when they graduate from Northampton High School, when they finish 12th grade. And so um, there are activities that they're working on grades nine through 12 that will help them have what they need when they leave here. So one of, the, one of those things is a career cluster finder. Our ninth graders typically work on that in Naviance. There is a similar but um, different inventory they do in 10th grade called the career interest inventory in Naviance. Um, we have them work on an advanced college search or a super match in Naviance to look at different colleges and help them build a college list. They can also um, redo a career search at that time if, in addition or instead if that is more in line with their goals. We make sure that students know about the SAT and ACT and that they know um, when to register for those and how to register for those. We talk to them about college tours and how to set those up. Um, we talk a lot about college admissions and what students need to know to be prepared to apply for college and also things that they need to know about specific majors that might have earlier deadlines, additional requirements, or a different admissions profile. We let students know about the net price calculator, which is something that every college is required to have. Um, students can enter some basic information and then get an idea of how much they would pay to attend that college each year. We communicate about NCAA requirements for our college-bound athletes. We communicate with students and families about financial aid planning in 11th and 12th grade, and we talk with them about different aspects of college applications, including the different types of applications, um, such as early action, early decision, regular decision, rolling, priority. In order to provide comprehensive school counseling to all of our students and families, there's a number of ways that we use. Um, one thing is that we have newsletters for seniors, and the newsletter for seniors comes out every Monday in the fall and winter because there are so many things for our seniors to keep up with, with college applications, financial aid, and scholarships. So that's a way that we help make sure that they have all the information they need, that they don't miss anything because they know that newsletter is coming out every week. For ninth and 10th graders, we have um, a newsletter for ninth, 10th, or ninth through 11th grade that comes out once or twice a year. And then we'll have some additional information going home for 11th grade families as well as they begin the post high school planning, um, as they begin the post high school planning process. We have over 100 college reps that come and visit Northampton High School each year. 
Probably about half of them are in person and about half of them are virtual, but either way we provide a space for our 11th and 12th graders to meet with, meet with college representatives and learn about the application process, learn about the campus, majors, whatever they have questions about. We have visiting days for students who are coming from schools other than JFK to come and get the same information that we have provided to our students at JFK. We have caregivers nights, including one for 11th grade caregivers and then two for 12th grade caregivers about um, college applications and financial aid in particular. Scheduling is a process that takes almost the whole year and I'll talk more about that in a minute. There are a lot of ways that school counselors work with students, and so we each have a caseload that we're responsible for case management, and we divide the students alphabetically so that we'll work with students grades nine through 12. You'll have the same counselor assigned grades nine through 12. We have new registrations that happen each year, approximately 100 of those, and the district will complete parts of the registration process and then the school counseling registrar and administrative assistant will complete some parts and then the school counselors will work on reviewing graduation progress and building the student schedule. School counselors communicate with social workers, with college admissions reps, with caregivers and more as part of our support to students. We also work with special education liaisons, with adjustment counselors, teachers, administrators, and more, supporting students within the building. And then we are a member of IEP teams and 504 teams, and we will um, sometimes attend meetings for students for IEPs or 504s. So, Scheduling does take um, most of the year to complete and we begin with students in January and February for scheduling for the following year. So during January and February, we meet with students in groups to review graduation requirements, college admissions requirements, and talk with students about their career interests to help students decide on their high school course of study and help prepare them for course selection in March. In March, students enter their course selections independently and then meet with their counselor one-on-one -on -one to review the course selections and make sure that they're meeting their requirements and meeting their goals. In March or April, caregivers are given the opportunity to review their students' course selections for the following year and provide their input. In April and May, the counseling department chair the counseling department administrative assistant and administration work together to build the building schedule based on students course requests. And there are typically multiple iterations to ensure that um, we're meeting as many requests as possible. And of course the requests, the schedule is built based on requests, but also on availability of staff. In May and June, once the building schedule is complete and the students are loaded into it, counselors will review each of the individual student schedules and will hand schedule students that um, had some of their course requests not met. And that's typically about 95% of course requests are met in the build process, 80% of students are fully scheduled, and then the counselors will hand schedule the remaining 20%. In August and September, late August, early September, counselors will meet with students to resolve any remaining conflicts and to update schedules. If uh, you know, 11th grade students sometimes do college visits over the summer and will come back and say to the counselor, I really think I actually need pre-calculus and I didn't sign up for it. And then if there's space available, we'll make those changes. And sometimes also students will complete courses in summer school and then need to up update their schedule to reflect that. So there's a wealth of information on our website. The school counseling page of the Northampton High School website has links to the program of study and course selection sheets and information about who your counselor is and who the other members of the department are. Um, there's so much information there, so I encourage you to visit our website. And then we also have a 
landing page for our curriculum. So it shows the essential questions that we are having students work on at each grade level and the corresponding lessons. So that page is linked in this presentation as well. So I do hope you'll take a look at that.